So here's the task. What does the memory look like after this program here is executed? After this program here is executed. Okay, let's go line by line then. We know that this is our program name. We know that this is a method that's going to get executed. Let's go here. Double salary equals 1000.98. So the variable name salary has the value, <coughs> excuse me, 10,000, sorry, 10,000.98. Oops, this for some reason is binary. Let me change the format here. And I will be will be on our on our way. Alright. So the value the variable salary is ten thousand ninety-eight. Let's look at the next variable. Int months equals nine. Months has the value nine. Then string response is monthly salary equals. Okay, so string response, response here. Now because it's a string, it's a pointer to some other memory address. So we're gonna represent it like this. Let's say it points to here. Okay. And then this is gonna have the string monthly salary equals. Okay, and make this a little bit wider. Let's make this a little thinner. Okay, that works. So, so now we're going to point this variable response to actually to the monthly salary. There. Perfect. Okay, so response goes to monthly salary. Now, double m cell for monthly salary, m cell is over here, is a double, so its value is going to be in the cell. Min cell is salary, salary, which is 10,000.98, okay, divided by months, and month is 9. So what happens is we have to do the division, right? Uh, 10,000.98 divided by uh, 9, and that gives us a total of 10,000.98 divided by 9, that gives us a total of 1,111.22. 1,111.22. All right, that's m cell. And then we say response equals response plus m cell. And this is this is something really interesting that's going to happen. The first thing that happens is that we, we've seen expressions, and the expression, this is an expression, this division. The division gets executed, and then the result is placed there, right? Well, in the same way, let's let's do this expression, response plus m cell. Response is monthly salary equals, and m cell is uh, this number here, 1111.22. So let's create a string that's the combination of these two, just like this line. So let's create it over here. The combination will be month only salary equals 111.22. Oops, I'm missing a one here. 111.22. That is the concatenation of this to the string and the double. And then we change the arrow from response. Instead of going to monthly salary equals, it'll go to this new thing that we've just built. So it'll go to it'll go to uh, response. We'll now go to this memory location over there. Okay. So now we've changed response used to go to this string over here now we concatenated this and we put it in a new string therefore response now points to this other new string over here okay that is how strings get concatenated and this is what the memory looks like at the end of this program okay if you're if you have to uh, represent this in memory this is exactly what you do now where do you put monthly salary and monthly salary equals it doesn't really matter just just pick an open space and, and make an arrow that points to the response variable or whatever that variable might be to those locations okay 
but this is what the memory in the end will look like.